Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine published on 12 August 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly contributing editor online Madeleine A. Alnaldi details the reasons why experts believe there are so few listed junior miners in South Africa. Experts in the spheres of law, mining and financial services are divided on whether South Africa's public market has become too institutionalized, which, if so, makes access to capital for junior miners and exploration companies all the more challenging. The engineering news features focus on agricultural engineering, irrigation and plant propagation, where technology yields beneficial tools for farms. Chemicals and petrochemicals, where a company expects to benefit from its diverse portfolio offering. And furnaces, kilns, ovens and dryers, where a local kiln manufacturer consistently supplies kilns into Australia. The Mining Weekly features focus on women in mining, where a non-profit organization WIMSA actively empowers women in mining. This week's business leader is Pietro Dupisani, Chairperson of Women in Mining South Africa and Head of Business Improvements at Anglo-American Platinum. And as this week's cartoon shows, the South African Reserve Bank's increasing of interest rates in July by 75 basis points rather than the anticipated 50 basis points signals that it believes there's a real danger that inflation is becoming more permanent rather than transitory. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.